from your baby's first car ride home to all the adventures after. An infant car seat cradles your baby through countless excursions. It's important that you choose an infant car seat that fits your vehicle correctly and fits your child correctly. Not only is fit important, it's also critical that you choose an infant car seat that you're sure you can install correctly every time. That's where Kiko comes in. Hello, I'm Lorraine, and I'm very excited to introduce to you the Kiko KeyFit Infant Car Seat. The KeyFit is available in two weight ratings, the KeyFit for infants 4 to 22 pounds and the popular KeyFit 30, designed to grow with your infant from 4 to 30 pounds. It's no coincidence the word fit is built right into the product's name. Kiko designed the KeyFit infant seat to fit your vehicle, fit your child, fit your style, and fit right into your lifestyle. It's no wonder the KeyFit is the number one rated infant car seat. Proper installation is key to making your baby's car seat safer. You want to ensure your infant car seat can be installed simply, accurately, and securely every time. That's where KeyFit comes in. The KeyFit is the easiest infant car seat to install correctly every time. The ReclineShore Spring Assisted Leveling Foot makes achieving the proper seat angle a breeze. With ReclineShore, you can achieve the proper seat angle in moments. You can be sure of an accurate install using the Ride Right Bubble Levels. You'll find a Ride Right Bubble Level conveniently located on both sides of the KeyFit base. Used in conjunction with Recline Shore, the two bubble level guides indicate the correct recline angle. Good news! No more fighting with infant car seats to secure them in your vehicle. The force multiplying technology of the Super Cinch and the center pull adjustment makes securely installing the key fit base into the vehicle so easy. Not only is key fit designed for easy vehicle installation, it also simplifies a proper fit for the child. A harness system with three height positions and a removable infant insert mean proper fit and extra comfort for your baby. Once your child is positioned in the seat, a five-point harness with one-hand tightening, soft shoulder pads, and a push-button chest clip also ensure your child's comfort and security. The key fit doesn't stop with ease of installation and proper fit. It's available in a wide variety of stylish fashions. With luxurious jacquards like Solare and Minerale to sporty, durable weaves like Pulse and Equinox, you're sure to find a look that fits your style. The key fit is compatible with a wide array of stroller platforms, extending use beyond your vehicle. From the full-featured Cortina to the lightweight Caddy, from active joggers to double strollers, the key fit provides safety and security for your child on the go. Fits your vehicle, fits your child, fits your style, fits your lifestyle. The Key Fit Infant Car Seat, the number one rated infant car seat, only from Kiko. Keep your child safe and comfortable with the Graco Snug Ride Snug Lock 35 Elite. It has a hassle-free installation in three steps using latch or the vehicle seat belt. Click. That's the sound of a secure install. Our seat grows with your baby from 4 to 35 pounds. Our Simply Safe Adjust Harness System adapts easily with one hand. Install the Stay In Car Base only once. Our Safety Core Energy Absorption Zone absorbs crash forces in the event of a crash. If you install the seat with latch, our in-right latch provides one second latch attachment. And the easy to read level indicator helps eliminate guesswork. The adjustable base offers four recline positions for proper installation. Graco meets and exceeds the US safety standards with safe seat engineering. Click Connect allows our seats to attach to all Graco Click Connect strollers and bases in one step. The Graco Snug Ride Snug Lock 35 Elite. 
safety and comfort for your precious passenger. To install the key fit carrier base using your vehicle's lap and shoulder belt, start by stowing the latch connectors and straps in their storage pockets. Pull the latch strap to make sure they are securely stored. Then roll the strap and place it in the storage pocket. Position the base in a forward-facing vehicle seat with reclined foot against the seat back. Adjust the base angle by pushing both recline buttons and adjusting the recline foot until the bubble is between the arrows. Route the vehicle belt through the openings in the base. And buckle the belt. Do not put the shoulder belt in locked mode. Press firmly on the base and tighten the vehicle belt until secure. Keep tension on the belt and slide it under the shoulder belt lock off on the side opposite the buckle. Check that the vehicle belt is tight on both sides of the base. You can now optionally put the shoulder belt in locked mode. Hold the child restraint at each side near the vehicle belt pads. Pull side to side and forward. The vehicle belt should remain tight and child restraint should not move more than one inch from vehicle seat back or side to side. Make sure that the base is stable. Make sure that the bubble is between the two arrows and make sure no belt or buckle will interfere with the attachment of the carrier to the base. When installing the carrier, always lift on the handle to make sure it is properly attached and recheck the base level when placing the key fit carrier in base. To remove the base, unbuckle the vehicle belt and remove the base. Place the base on the vehicle seat. Pull up on the recline adjustment lever on the front of the base. Move the base up or down until the red marker is visible between the two lines on the recline angle indicators. Firmly pull to remove lower connectors from their storage in the base. Press and hold lower connector release button and pull the lower connectors to lengthen. Press the lower connectors onto their adjacent vehicle lower anchors until a click is heard. Pull the lower connectors to verify they are secure. While pressing the center of the base into the seat, pull up on the lower connector straps that are located in the center of the base to tighten. To achieve the tightest install, you can push on the right or left of the base while pulling the correlating latch webbing. Feed excess webbing back into base and ensure that lower connector straps are flush with the base. Check that the lower connector straps are tight and that the base is secure. The base is secure when it moves less than one inch front to back or side to side at the vehicle belt path. Check that the recline angle is correct and confirm that the red marker is visible between the two lines on the recline angle indicators. Place the infant car seat into the base and press down until a click is heard. Pull up on the infant car seat to verify attachment. To remove the infant car seat, pull and hold the release lever on the back of the infant car seat. Lift the infant car seat up from the base. Securing infant in the seat. Your Mesa comes fitted with an infant insert to ensure a better fit with small infants. Remove the infant insert when your baby begins growing on top of the buckle making it difficult to buckle the harness. Place the infant in the seat. To ensure the harness is at or below the infant's shoulders, adjust the head restraint by pulling on the tab at the top of the seat and sliding up or down. Place the harness over the infant and insert the buckle tongues into the buckle until you hear a click. Pull up on the harness to remove any slack around the legs.
Pull the harness adjuster strap to tighten the harness straps around the infant. Close the chest clip and adjust so it's at the infant's armpit level. Pinch the harness webbing at the infant's shoulder. The harness should be snug. If you can pinch webbing, the harness is too loose and should be tightened. Removing infant from the seat. Loosen the harness by pressing the button located in between the infant's legs and pulling on the shoulder harness. Open the chest clip. Unlock the harness and tuck the buckles into the pockets to keep them out of the way.